Hello everyone and welcome on we're doing a mercenary videos now and we've made our own deck which I haven't seen anyone play um, nothing like it it's actually an anti-blue or anti-caster deck um, so we've got as our starters well, we've got Lukala let's have a look at the, the deck here um, anti-blue I call it um, so you've got your Lokala, the Hellstorm, so it's very good against Valuru decks if Lokala survives. If he doesn't survive, you've got uh, another couple of threats. You've got Brightwing, who we use the Fairy uh, Brightwing's Necklace, level 4, which gives an extra 5 health. So unfortunately it doesn't give more attack, so we're, we're, we're busting... We talk about we're buffing up our uh, minions in our deck, which are three greens. We'll see them in a minute, giving them 310, so it gives them more survivability, which is important for things like uh, Sinestra, so she can do her cycle. We're going to see that in a minute, and also Sylvanas, so she's got time to to reclaim souls, and Illidan just because he's wants as many stats as he can, so he can survive. Right. Okay, so let's go back here. Okay, so the idea is we start off with Lokalar, Brightwing, and Tyrion. The idea of Tyrion is purely because of this. Give all mercs in your battlefield a bench 8 to 8, so it's not going to be targeted. Unfortunately, Tyrion by himself is not such a strong threat, so they don't really have to target Tyrion. I find most of my games, people just ignore the Tyrion. But... Four speed, which is pretty fast. Blessing of Kings, giving 8-8 eight, eight and Divine Shield to a local or, or let's say you've got Sylvanas or Illidan, could be very powerful. And obviously, um, Judgment of Humility can be uh, pretty powerful as well. Shutting down very quickly a, a big attack damage minion. Anyway, so the start is local Tyrion, Brightwing. Uh, local are you just want to use this we've taken frigid wings which is after an enemy acts gain four frost damage it's not frost weakness so let's say if three of them act he gets four frost damage which means that these six three damages suddenly become a monstrous 15 damage is that right 12 damage plus three and that's 15 so you're doing 15 damage six times that's 90 damage across the board so it absolutely annihilates valera so this this is always going to be targeted with a valera comp if they're clever but very often valera will not be able to clear this off and valera will just die or, or their board will be completely wrecked in the meantime, if they're focusing on Brightwing, can keep doing his fairy breath, buffing up the bench. Three attacks, nothing to laugh at. Uh, it seems small, but it's under 10 health is also pretty good. Tyrion, of course, gives 8-8 eight, eight as well. Um, right, so you're going to hopefully get some very beefy uh, fighters on your bench. We have Sinestra, first of all, when she comes on straight away, always, almost always, play. I think one game I didn't do this, I, I went for the racking swipe because guaranteed one minion to die straight away, which was a key minion. Otherwise, Twilight Extinction, restore 20 health to this Merc. At the end of the next turn, deal 30 damage to all enemies, which means against Blues, the casters, it does 60 damage. So... 20 health to this Merc straight away. Um, and for the in-between turn, we restore 40... Well, we haven't even leveled it up, which is incredible. Um, 40 health to a Dragon. Its next ability is 3 speed slow, which doesn't really matter for Sinestra if we're going to be cycling between this and this. The idea is you play this, and then we play this very quickly... Two mana, a uh, two speed spell, which means that you're gonna get your um, your big heal in just in time. It should be, I think it's probably fifty health heal. Yeah, so you're stealing, you're healing up seventy damage every two turns, but 
is we take this um, mana barrier restores four more health and reduces damage taken by two this turn and once this is leveled up it's going to be sort of like a mutanus level of protection it's going to be very hard to kill it and the nice thing is as well if bright wings on the board we can actually choose to heal up the bright wing so you can keep buffing up the sylvanas and the lid and which are still on the deck on the bench and protect it yeah so that's the idea there so it's a big nuke destroying a whole load of blues and the reason why we're playing this is because there there's one uh class of minions what's it, that we call it one minion type which you see in every deck at the moment is is our casters you can get some decks which don't have any protectors you have some which have everything but they've got three three casters so crafting um a green heavy deck is i find i've had a lot of success with it i've got almost to 7500 already and remember i only play three to six nursery games a day i always do the three games to get the coins but sometimes i might place an extra three for a few more coins and really up to 7500 halfway through the month so uh then we've got sylvanas with death volley deal damage equal to this smoke's attack to all enemies and, be and we play reclaim souls gain five attack for each friendly character that died this game so usually we would have had two or three dying so that gives us an extra 15 but um, she would be buffed up as well hopefully because of by Tyrion and bright wing so she can like a, a normal game we get 35 40 attack now that might not sound too scary but that means this is an absolute single target nuke this can one shot uh, a blue easily and of course death volley deal damage equal to this mercs attacks to all enemies if you've got blues there they're just going to get blown up and um, we've got a more uh i would say more traditional fair champion doesn't do cheating things like sinestra or sylvanas um illidan very often i find i use winged assault the first time um blade dance can be again can wipe out a team if this has got like 30 attack you do about 60 damage you're doing the same sort of thing that sinestra does but this has actually damage every turn afterwards take 10 less damage while attacking so feel safe you attacking to using wound assault or if you want to heal up you can play this attack two minions on the left and the right and you won't take that much damage most most uh, minions don't have that much attack damage in the first place they're usually just spell based at the moment so this is i think the best at the moment you could try this attack the leftmost enemy twice you take an extra 30 damage potentially but if you get healed up by 14 but i haven't leveled this up yet so once i level this up this will heal up and it'll be probably worth taking the extra damage if you're going to kill them off and heal up i think this all gains two more attack that's also a possibility here as well because we do want to get maximum damage for our blade dance to wipe okay so hopefully the games will play will be good because that was a long introduction there okay, nine minutes let's see the pump at work so it's, it's it's not very flexible it's flexible in terms of what you bring in the order which you bring the the three greens at the end but you're starting you're almost always going to start with local i've had it's very good as a surprise comp because people do not expect it i had a game today where i played someone i wiped him out very easily and then i played the same person and then wasn't as good right this one um i still don't know how this attacks
the Mylar class will be stronger than his Lurker now. I don't want to get frozen. So let's do this. Do this, obviously. Just in case something gets frozen. I'll go for that. Just to get the Divine Shield. Okay, that's one spell damage. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. And the nice thing is I don't mind if the Tyrion dies. Right, now because he slowed me down... Should I heal here? Is healing a thing here? I'm assuming he's got Jane in there. Six damage, give them plus two frost weakness. Not just for this turn, so this stacks up. Aha. Uh Till -huh. 11 damage to all enemies, either gain three frost damage or three or five damage. Okay, it doesn't look too scary. I think we want to keep buffing up our bench and make use of the fact that we're not uh, doing anything. Maybe we can. I don't know. We, we, we want to get rid of Locala because of our greens, actually. Yes, yeah, so let's focus everything on Locala. We get lucky, then our Locala might survive. Unlikely. They died. Okay, fine. Okay, what's the speed of this? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so I think... So the dance quite strong. You can heal up by attacking that and that. It's a full speed attack here, so this will take out local loss straight away before you can play anything. Okay, so we'll play that. And we'll play this in Astra. We can heal we can heal up uh what's it called? Uh I'd rather attack that straight away. Oh one minute. This kills us, doesn't it? Okay, so if that does manage to kill it, which I can't see why it shouldn't. We could probably bleed actually. This is one case where I might want to bleed first. Maybe you want to heal this up. Maybe we heal it up, just go for a big Sylvanas. I don't think my Sinestra is under too much danger here. Okay, interesting. Nice. Okay. This is probably going to be the Jane. I think we just leave Varden on the board. Wow. He actually did that. I think we probably want to heal across the board here, don't we? I think we want to get rid of this, actually. I'm a bit scared about this. 31, that's actually not bad. I can do this. Job done. Uh, actually, no, no, we might as well do play, play dance. I mean, this does heal me for 14. I think play dance is probably better. All right, let's see. Let's see if this works. Oh, I see fire weakness, clever. Yeah, that was too much damage. They damaged me too much. They damaged me too much. <laughs> Oopsie. They put too much damage on. So therefore they couldn't freeze. Uh, so I got my Sinestra thing off. So he's already done that. So yeah, so Blink Fox is not going to be that useful here.
let's heal myself up. Obviously, you can't do anything with this. So I have to hope for the best. It's looking good. This is going to kill off that. It's going to not quite kill off this. Right, so that's not going to be good for him. Okay, right, so I want to just attack this and kill it. Yeah, okay, here we go. 38 times 2 is 76. Yes, yeah, so we want to kill off the Diablo, we should be fine here. I think this and this should be fine. These are going to get wiped out. Just focus down the Diablo. See what he does. Okay, that doesn't look correct. Okay. Kill it again. So now fire stomp. I can't see what he can do here. Maybe he's the Sinestra spell. Yeah, this is done. Nice. And this should be game over. There you go. That's exactly how the comps are going to play out. Exactly. That's a brilliant example. Yeah, so you see the power of the greens in, in Sylvanas is not just for killing casters. You can clearly see that. We just like annihilated the Diablo. Because we had so much health, it gave us so much flexibility in how to do things. They could really only hope to like assassinate one minion. Which they chose to kill Brightwing, pull it Brightwing. But yeah, it's, but he already did the damage. Already we had a buffed up thing because the Tyrion was killed by the Lokalar. Oh, we're playing the same person again. All right. It's a shame when that happens because it's nice to demonstrate the deck against other ones. But this isn't the same deck. No, there's there's someone else. I think we played Diggit last time. Oh. Right, now we're going to see Valera get destroyed, hopefully. Because, okay, this this is a bit fast. That's a shame. Okay, but these two should attack first. I'm assuming he's going to go there. Um, yeah, we'll do use this for maximum damage. No, let's just do that. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll go for the Valera. We might get lucky and kill off the Valyria first of all, but that's one. So right now this has eight damage, that means eleven, it's gonna do eleven. Haha. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's gonna die, but it's fine. Let's just do this and this. This this should Look at look at that straight away, and because they're going to be so fast, if they didn't kill this off now, that's their board wiped. So I'm going to have two minions. This is a good minion in itself, and three things, and he's got one protector which can deal with the greens, and it's going to have to be a really good protector. That's all I've got to say. This is just an annihilation. This look at this. This is going to do 13, 16 damage each one. Everything's gone. And even get Divine Shield. Look at that. Beautiful. So which one's the buffed one? There, he's just given up. There you go. Yeah, it's complete annihilation. 
You see, the, lo the combination of the local art to deal with the early greens and Valyria is just it's brutal. And any comp can run local as an opener. And uh, I, I, but to finish, usually people finish off with uh, you know with your nature's um, the nature finishes, which is your brucan uh, cookies. It's it's in half of decks at least. I would guess cookie at the moment. So just annihilates cookie becomes a stupid looking minion. Just gives nine health to everyone. Yeah, I mean, okay, Bright Winger, he does it to one minion at a time, but uh, he gets two procs off. That's 20 health to minions, but you don't want to die, and the minions you don't mind dying, you're starting off with. Um, so, against nature, this counters nature comps. Um, this counters frost comps with the, with your Valden and your Jaina. This counters shadow comps with your... your the, the trio of nature of, of shadow um it won't do amazingly against demons or orcs but i don't see that being played at the moment even fire damage uh, fire well fire is usually an opener so that might be a good counter to this and valira comps just because of the local art it's, it's just an amazing comp this i highly recommend it please tell me if you like it try it out uh it's really really powerful especially if you're seeing lots of blues lots of casters so that's my anti-caster comp thanks for watching everyone that's my own creation and uh yeah we'll see how how well we can keep going with it there's some new mercenaries being introduced at the moment but we'll see what they do exactly but um, i think this is a really really strong uh, meta breaking comp thanks for watching everyone i will see you in the next video bye for now